Situated near Wanga National Park, Zimbabwe's biggest wildlife sanctuary, Painted Dog Conservation's anti-poaching unit removes and collects over 3,000 snares a year put by poachers. David Kuwaogam, operations manager at Painted Dog Conservation, says that saves quite a number of animal lives, especially the endangered painted dogs. Poachers themselves don't target uh, painted dogs. Uh, they target the prey uh, for painted dogs, which is mainly kudu and impala. Um, but when they set the snares, uh, they set in tracks where kudus and impala move and painted dogs who are looking for food, they also move in the same tracks as they track uh, their food. The anti poaching unit is mainly comprised of people from nearby who value wildlife such as 27-year-old Beninda Nguyen. anti poaching is important to me because I now know the importance of the wildlife through anti poaching And we are saving animals, those animals which helps us to get employed, like now I'm employed, and it's also helping us to get tourists from other countries. 53-year-old Julaim Klanga is one of the artists benefiting from the snares collected from the bush by painted dog conservation's anti poaching unit. The artists turn the snares into crust and sell them to zoos around the world. Now I've taken all these kids to, to higher school and they've finished, so which means that there is improvement that I managed to pay, apart from asking from other people for money. Hilary Mazikanda, a former ecologist with the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority, says Africa has under 7,000 painted dogs, but at the turn of the century, the continent had over half a million. That was because people were getting incentives to kill them as they were considered useless. Because of uh, the informed position of science that we realize that they play a critical role in the environment and then the um, persecution stopped. But however, the decline had reached such levels that dogs for the uh, foreseeable future would remain a low species population. With intensified anti-poaching on the continent, Mazikanda says Africa would have a good number of painted dogs to keep the herbivores population in check to ensure vegetation is not overgrazed. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News, Wange, Zimbabwe.